One of the most fundamental parts of an Android app is the activity class. Your app will have at least one activity class, no matter how small it is in terms of code and scalability. In fact, when you create your app in Android Studio, the main activity class is generated alongside other folders and files. In this video, you'll learn more about the main activity .kt file, which contains Kotlin code that is integral to the behavior of your app and is essential for your app to run successfully. But first, what is an activity? In Android, an activity, which is one thing a user can do, is an entry point for interacting with the user. This is where the action happens, because activities allow the user to interact with your app. An Android app is usually made of multiple activities, sometimes called screens, that together form the user experience. These activities are represented by an activity class, whose function is to respond to user input. Each activity class contains a layout that holds different pieces of a user interface, or UI, together so that a user can interact with an app. This means that the activity class is the gateway through which a user can interact dynamically with an Android app's UI. One activity in an app will be specified as the main activity. This is the entry point from which Android will run its program, as it's the first screen that appears when a user launches an app. When you create a new Android project using the main activity template in Android Studio, a file called mainactivity.kt is generated with some initial code alongside other generated files and folders. Let's preview this generated activity file in Android Studio. Let's begin to explore the file mainactivity.kt. I have generated a project called sample app using a project template. As a result, there are different folders and files available under project files in the navigation bar on the left-hand side. One of the generated files is mainactivity.kt. This file is the entry point for your app, so it's very important in your code base. Within this file, different parts of the Kotlin code base are displayed. For example, at the top is imports, where you have access to external packages and plugins. The next part is the main class, called main activity. In this area, different functions are displayed. The function I am going to introduce you to is the onCreate function. You will learn more about creating different activity classes with Kotlin using this function later. For now, it is enough to know that the onCreate function is the entry point for your app to run successfully. This function is called when your app is run. Its role is to create the view and initialize the actions of the activity. It is essential to have the onCreate function in your activity class in order to run an Android app. Other functions, such as the actions users will perform on the activity screen, follow the onCreate function. And that's a preview of the main activity file. In subsequent videos, you will learn how to use activities to create different classes and build an interactive app. You have now been introduced to activities and the activity class and previewed the main activity code in Android Studio. As you progress with your learning, you will discover how to use activity to create different classes and build an interactive app.